You probably never realized why the pandas leaving Washington Zoo this year is such a big deal. Since the 80s, China has been leasing pandas to zoos for 10-year terms. The zoo pays $20 million to Chinese officials for a cute and cuddly panda pair, and any cubs born in the zoo still belong to China. But it's not about raising awareness of endangered animals or even preserving habitats. It's called panda diplomacy. China uses the panda to show approval or disapproval with other countries. When China wants something like precious metals or technology, it gifts pandas to countries with large reserves. It happened with Canada, Germany, Australia, and France. But when there's tension between two countries, China removes the pandas. When President Obama met with the Dalai Lama in 2010, China was livid. It canceled the lease on two pandas in Washington, D.C. For 50 years, the U.S. has had pandas on display in various zoos, but as early as next year, all the pandas are going home. China's clearly making a statement. 